What's up, Legion Beast and my fellow Go High Level Entrepreneurs? Matty S here from Leads for Locals. I wanted to do a quick updated video showing you guys how to basically set up an email address inside of Go High Level, setting up that uh, dedicated domain, and uh, make it, helping you make sure that your emails actually get to the inbox. Now, I wanted to do an updated video because it's so much easier and faster now to actually uh, set these dedicated domains up. Uh, basically, it used to be like you type in the domain that you want to use for the email address and then you'd have to manually copy and paste all the txt records cname records ms records all this stuff now you can actually authorize lead connector to just create those records for you and it it does it like that it's pretty sweet so i'm going to show you that and uh, but again make sure you stick to the end because there is still one record that you need to manually enter into the domain uh, to make sure that you're not flagging like a bunch of spam filters and you're actually getting to the inbox so still stick to the end with me on this because that is important obviously we want our emails to actually get to the inbox uh, but first let's start with setting up the dedicated domain for the email so we're going to click on settings and we're going to click on email services all right and right here it says dedicated domain uh, they have ips now which is pretty cool probably play around with that uh, later on uh, let's get rid of this. This was a, a test one earlier. I'll start this from scratch. All right, so we're going to click on Add Domain. And then you're just going to type out a subdomain that you want to use. And uh, so basically, like like mine, for example, is uh, contact.leadsforlocals.net. That's my main email address. And then the way that I send emails is, like I have it as matt at contact.leadsforlocals.net. That's basically how this works. So uh, you, you can use contact, message, you know, something like that. Just, you know, you don't, don't overcomplicate it. In this case, I'm going to use test email dot, uh, I'm going to use an old domain here, uh, insurance protection service dot com. All right. Uh, we'll click add and verify. All right. And like I said, normally it would give you the records to copy and paste, but now uh, like I'm logged into GoDaddy right now, so you need to be logged into your domain provider right here. So here's my domain provider. All right, we're going to click Authorize Domain and watch this. this is, I mean, this is this is pretty cool, man. Goi Level is coming out with some pretty awesome stuff. And we're just going to authorize this here. So we're going to click Connect and then Close and then give it a minute. Some, sometimes it takes a minute or two. And uh, we do have to do this part a couple of times, but you'll notice here, like, like th this is the part where we used to have to like copy and paste this manually, but now you can see like one of them is already verified and we just need to click verify domain. We, pr we need to do this a couple of times. See how some of them got verified. Some of them didn't. So we're going to go back. Sorry for the lag guys. My internet has been really bad lately. All right. Uh, right here. Uh, we're going to click on verify now again. You, again, you might have to do this a couple of times because it just takes a minute for the records to actually get set up. But this is this is basically the process. It, it saves a decent amount of time, especially if you're doing this for clients. And, you know, the good thing is you really only have to do this once. You know, once your domain is set up, then you're pretty much good to go. Now, while we're waiting on this, uh, I'm going to show you the other record that it doesn't get added. It's an extra one that you absolutely want to add. And it's a, uh, it's a DMARC record, I think is what it's called. Uh, let me try this one more time. So I do want this working in the background. All right, whatever. Anyways, all right, so uh, you're going to go to your domain, go to the DNS records, all right? So click on DNS here. And I'm going to, I'll have this record down in the description so you guys don't have to memorize it. You can just copy and paste it. It's the same pretty much every time. You do need to customize it for the domain that you set up. But uh, what we're going to do is click on add new record here. Let's go here. All right, the type is going to be txt and <clears throat> i'm going to type this in. it's going to be underscore dmark uh and then it's going to be dot test email whatever the subdomain part of your email address was whether it's contact message or if you're doing this for clients i usually put their business name whatever that is <clears throat> whatever you set up that's what you're going to put right here and then the value is going to be this right here again don't worry about memorizing it i'm going to put this down in the description for you guys uh, this part will always be the same in the value. And then this right here, it's always going to be underscore DMARC dot, but then you just put whatever your subdomain is for the email address. All right. Uh, and then click save. 
and then you're good to go at that point. I have no idea really what a DMARC record is. I just know like way back in the day when I was having so much trouble with my email inside of Go High Level, getting it to the inbox and, and like all of my domains were getting flagged for, you know, as spam and stuff like that. Uh, it was really annoying. And this is one of the records that I found was making a huge difference, uh, a huge impact on my email deliverability. So I'm telling you guys, just get this done really quick. Uh, it is absolutely worth it. All right, so it looks like most of these are verified now. So we'll click verify domain one more time. Hopefully that is the last time we need to do it. Yep, I'm right there. So this is what you want to see. SSL issued and your domain is now connected. Uh, and you've got your DMARC record set up. So the, the domain itself is ready to go. Now, it's very important, guys, that this, whenever you're sending emails from your Go High Level sub account, this is the email you want to use. All right, don't use yahoo gmail or try and send like for example if i go back and uh, let me pull up a test contact here all right sorry about that guys uh my phone is getting blown up right now anyways so what i was saying is uh so like let's say you're manually sending an email in this particular case the from email address this is very important you want to make sure well, i forgot to copy it but uh, in this case, it would be Matt at, uh, what did I do, testemail.insuranceprotectionservice.com. Okay. If you use any other email address than the one that's connected to your sub-account, it's likely going to go to spam. Sometimes it might not even go through. Now, what you put in the front, like Matt, I could put team, info, that part doesn't matter. You could You could change that to whatever you want. But um, just make sure you're always using the domain, dedicated domain email address that you connected when you're sending emails. Now, what I like to do, just to finish off on a good note here, uh, make sure you uh, just kind of set you guys up for success with your emailing. Uh, I like to create a custom value <clears throat> for my email address. So if I scroll down, uh, it, well, I can just like new custom value. You can do from email address, all right? And then I, I would paste that in. And again, you could change this to whatever you want. But you'll create that. All right, I already have one, so I'm just going to show you here. And you'll see why I do this in a second. It's, it saves so much time. Uh, the from, from email. Where yet? Where yet? There it is. L for L from email. All right, so I have this custom value that contains my email address that's connected to my sub account. Now where I use this that where it saves me so much time is when I create email templates or I add emails to my automation. Uh, there's a from email uh, field there where you can put that custom value in so you don't have to manually type in your email address every single time. And God forbid you have to change it like you'd have to go through all the emails in your automation and change all those. Uh, using the custom value saves you so much time. So let me just show you a quick example and then we're done. So this is how I like to create my emails is using the email templates. So I'll just show you an example here. Let's go to a master class reminder. <clears throat> and where we want to use that custom value is up here. We click the dots, settings. See right here where it says from email. Just use the, just insert the custom value for it. That way you don't have to type out the email address every single time you do an email. It just automatically inserts it from the custom value. You just click this little tag here. It'll scroll down to custom values. And then you just find your email custom value. Mine was L for L from email. Click save. And that's it. So hopefully that was helpful, guys. Like I said, uh, I'm pretty excited that, you know, it's like, a couple clicks of a button and you're able to connect the domain for your email address. It saves a pretty decent amount of time over the long run. So hope that helps guys. Hope you're crushing it and I'll talk to you in the next one. Matty Ice is out.